Three. Yeah, guys, welcome again. Now we are continuing with our cooking, and we are doing the minute, minute, uh, minute, uh, minute beef rolls. Yeah, and uh, I've divided them into three. I have three right here and three here. So th just these three, I want to use horseradish on them. And of course, like I said, I was uh, gonna use country I've already prepared them and steamed the sparris a little bit. And uh, cantaroon is there, ready prepared. And I have a uh, tube uh, horseradish. So I'll start by spreading a little bit of horseradish on these three here. So that this is our, uh, this is my own recipe, by the way. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna do the session now with taste. So I'm just doing guesswork on this, you know. So it's not like uh, I've copied somebody's recipe or something. No, I did not. I'm just doing it out of my own head and uh, well I want to see how it's gonna taste the end result so here I'm using horseradish like I said well I'm gonna spread it you know before I can roll this you know I am spreading it right yeah horseradish is actually very strong but it has a very strong nice taste I love it mm -hmm. so that's it and uh, cantarans, cantarans are uh, one of the, the most expensive, uh, uh, what do you call this thing, mushrooms, yeah? And uh, you know, you cannot just use, then it's also boring to eat too much of it. So I'm just gonna put a little, just a little bit of it spread around like this. Cause too much of it, it's like meat anyway, but too much of it is, uh, is not that interesting, I can say, you know? So we just put a little like that. Now that is what we call our cantorel, cantorel, cantorels, yeah. So right here I have uh, cantorel, horseradish, and of course I am gonna put sparrows, right? So I'm gonna roll it, like you see now. Um, that is just some um, thing from the whatever from the meat. Uh, I think I put it in the middle like this and I roll it. I want the minute beef. This is gonna be so delicious, fantastic. Yeah, but just to wrap it all around, uh, I decided I was gonna use bacon, you know, to give it some, uh, you know, the taste. To make it a little bit more tasty. Bacon is always tasty. Yes, so uh, I'm wrapping my bacon. Yes, I am wrapping my bacon around the minute beef. And uh, it was done. So we're gonna fry it a little bit, right? So I keep rolling these other ones. Keep rolling these other ones. Yeah, right, something like this. So I'm gonna start with these ones. Yes, and we do that. We're gonna do this for all the six of them. This is gonna be very delicious. I can't wait. And the camera person is also longing to, cannot wait to eat this, right? You're yes. gonna be eating. Oh yeah. This is gonna be so delicious. So we fry it a little bit there. And uh, we do the last one here. It's not the last one though, but on the ingredients here, it seems to be the last one. So, something like this. And that is minute made rolls, yeah? Huh? Minute meat. Minute. <laughs> that was a minute beef roll. Well, minute meat is some um, uh, very nice juice. Juice. So, well, we have to wash that thing so that it's not bad. I'm gonna use this normal, yeah, normal beef. Yeah, it looks nice. You see it? It's a beauty. Look at it. Wow, it's a beauty. Mm, wow. This is beautiful. Ah, look at it. Beautiful. So we fry it a little bit. We're gonna do that. And um, that's basically how you make the meat in the drawers. So, but the ingredients, what you wanna roll inside, it can be your own choice. I mean, for us, we chose um, cantorel, horseradish, and asparagus, right? Yeah, and uh, of course we made some stew here. It's gonna cook here for a little bit. And basically this is uh, some sauce and uh, is uh, onion, 
I have garlic, I have uh, tomatoes, cross tomatoes, and uh, cream, uh, cooking cream. So that is our sauce. We're gonna put the minute by uh, minutes bit in there. <laughs> And that will be just, you know, fried a little bit uh, nice and brown. Nice and brown. We want them nice and brown, you see? Yeah. And uh, basically, they're going to look like this. Brown, nice brown. And uh, after that, we're going to put them in the salt so that they cook for like maybe 10, 15 minutes. And, well, we're going to show you the outcome when you start it on the plate. So you see our five sardina for today. Peace out.